Hi, uh, today we wanted to show you a little bit about the uh, front, the mechanism that controls the front wheel on a mountain buggy. Uh, in this case, we got in the stroller to repair, and the whole uh, metal part that controls the front wheel is very loose, as you can see, and it's rusted inside, uh, and it makes it difficult for it to turn properly, especially that it's very loose. So I wanted to show you what you can do uh, in this case. The first thing is to remove this plastic cap that's on the top. Take a small, uh, thin, flat-headed screwdriver. You're going to dig in and pull up from underneath. And when you get up, you will find that there is a nut around the screw on the top. In some models, uh, there is actually not this. There is a smooth pole, and there is a uh, like a metal washer that has grooves in it that holds it in place. Uh, maybe we'll make a video in the future. But in that case, uh, you can contact us in the um, commentary area, and I can give you some extra advice if that's the case. Uh, in this case, what you need to do is take a ratchet um, tool and put it on, and now remove the nut. Now, if the nut is too rusted, you might need to spray. Um, there, there are chemicals you can buy that will allow you to freeze the rust, and that will help to remove the nut if it's too rusted. Um, if, it's, if that doesn't work, you might have to remove the whole front end and replace it. But assuming that you can remove the nut, then uh, the rest of this video is for you. Okay, I've uh, removed the nut now. Um, the lazy inclination might be just to tighten the nut, but I always recommend that you actually remove the nut and take out the parts. Try to take everything as much apart as possible so that you might have to pull this out a bit. So that you can remove rust if you have rust eater or at least grease everything up and put it back together. It's always a good idea. Okay, so this is a good example of why you should take it entirely apart. I wound up having to uh, hammer out this front piece. Uh, and uh, as you can see, a lot of rust dust has come out. So now I'm going to clean everything, apply a bit of rust eater to the um, screw and the, the pole itself, and then put it back together, making sure to uh, oil it up and grease it up sufficiently. Okay, so I've used Rust Eater on the inside here, uh, all around, as well as on uh, this rusty inner area, and lifting up this plastic part underneath. I left it on for a while and then removed it, uh, taking off a lot of the rust with it, and making it a bit smoother. Uh, then I applied some automotive grease all around here, and underneath, inside, as well as inside here. You want to also, there is a, a much smaller area to work with when you're dealing with the mechanism that locks the wheel. You want to get in there maybe with some WD-40 and get it greased up as well. Then you're going to put this part back in all the way. this part to be on the unlocked position so you have a little more room to work with. And then you're going to slip the washer back over. That was, oh wait, this was not in there. And the bolt. And then re-tighten the bolt until it uh, the wheel turns comfortably. You might need to loosen and tighten a bit until you find the correct position at which you have optimal movement for the front wheel, but at the same time that it's tight enough that uh, that it won't cause a problem in the future. Okay, uh, now we've put the whole um, mechanism back together and put the cap back on and um, had to adjust it a few times to make sure that it was the right uh, balance between being slightly loose here 
and also being uh, tight enough that that looseness wouldn't be a problem. Uh, you need it a little bit loose so that you can turn it easily from side to side. And uh, that was the end of fixing that mechanism. Now we'll just go over and remove rust and paint the rest of the scroll.